Jesus rides a milk white horse, no man works like him. David robbed Jordan, he did cross, no man works like him, for he is king of kings, Lord of lords. Oh, Jesus Christ, the prison in our store. King Jesus rides the service coming from St. Andrew's Anglican Church in San Ignacio. Hosanna to the son of David, the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Dear friends in Christ, during Lent we have been preparing for the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery. On this day, our Lord Jesus Christ entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph. The people welcomed him with palms and shouts of praise. But the path before him led to self-giving, suffering, and death. Today we greet him as our king, although we know his crown is short and his throne. From glory of the palms to the glory of the resurrection by way of the dark road of suffering and death. 
united with him in his suffering on the cross. May we share his resurrection and new life. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy into the celebration of those mighty acts whereby you give us life and immortality. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, the 11th chapter, beginning at the first verse. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethage and Bethany, near the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find tied there a coat that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Just say this. The Lord needs it and will send it back here immediately. They went away and found a coat tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, What are you doing untying the coat? They told them what Jesus had said, and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the coat to Jesus and threw their sack, their cloaks on it and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead, those who followed were shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And when he had looked around at everything as it was already lit, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The Gospel of Christ. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Almighty God, for the acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who entered Jerusalem as Messiah to suffer and to die. Bless these hearts and let them be for us signs of victory and grant that all who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our king and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, whose son was crucified yet entered into Praise the name 
of the Lord on high, praise His name in song. Praise the Lord with a heavenly song, with a heavenly song, with a heavenly song. Praise the Lord. Enter into Jerusalem, make me walk a down there. With the young and the old, the little and the large, make me walk a dumb bear. Enter into Jerusalem, make me walk a dumb bear. Sway to the priest with the bothering of bees, make me walk a dumb bear. We go celebrate, we go celebrate, we go celebrate, O oh, Israel. Praise the name of the Lord.
Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, 
Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? 
you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough, the Lord has come, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sin. Get up, let us be gone. See, my betrayer is at hand. Immediately, while he was still sleeping, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And when he came, there was a crowd with swords and clubs. For their chief priests, the scribes and the elders, now the betrayer had given them a sign. Oh, but they shouted, oh, the Lord, crucify 
Simon, so highly and much to satisfy the Lord, released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers led, led him into the courtyard of the palace, that is the governor's headquarters. And they called, and they called together the whole cohort, and they clothed him in a purple cloak. And after twisting some corn into a cloak, they put him on him, and they began suddenly. He had been on the Jews. They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him out of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out of they let him out of his fight. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Luther. They Then they brought, brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine to the man, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to the side of what he should take. It was 9 o'clock in the morning when he was fired. The inscription of the charge against him read, the, the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed, passed by, he cried in him, shaking their heads and saying,
Palm Sunday in our churches as a reminder of Jesus' procession into Jerusalem. Today marks the beginning of Holy Week, which leads up to Easter Sunday on March 31. We mark this day with the distribution of palm fronds as a reminder of Jesus' love for us. It commemorates Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem as Lord and King. On this day, people adored Christ shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. According to our gospel reading, Mark denotes Christ as royalty. Mark refers to Jesus as Christ the Messiah. He depicts Jesus as a long-awaited king in both obvious and subtle ways and with heavy tension and irony. Making reference to the Second Temple Jewish hope, whereby God was expected to send an anointed king in the last days to defeat God's enemies and restore God's people. Mark says that it is also helpful for us to recall the history of Jerusalem as a royal city. He states that it was King David who made Jerusalem the capital of his kingdom, and it was David's son, King Solomon, and that he built the first temple in Jerusalem. He consistently makes reference to the Old Testament as he remembers Jerusalem as the city of David. He states that among those Second Temple Jews who envisioned a royal Messiah, it was not hard for them to envision the Messiah ruling from Jerusalem. In this way, the end would reiterate the beginning. My friends, let us imagine Jesus' experience as he made this triumphal entry, bringing him one step closer to establishing his throne in the ancient city of Kings. By this time, Jesus arrives in Jerusalem for Passover, which according to Mark, is his first and only visit. The people ceremoniously cover the ground in ways that signal Jesus' royal identity by spreading their clothes on the ground for Jesus to ride on as they echo the coronation of the king, Juno of Israel. We see that in Second Kings 9 and 13. According to Mark, the tragic irony is that Jesus is headed to a shameful execution and he knows it from the moment that he divulged with his messianic identity to his disciples. He has prophesied his fate, a fate his disciples did not understand. He further prophesied his fate according, occurring in Jerusalem. Mark 10, 33 to 34. Jesus chooses death because toning down God's healing love to avoid death is not an option for the Messiah. Jesus can only love wholeheartedly. And Jesus knows that this same love will overcome death itself. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as Jesus rode on this boat, we can only see a symbol of humility. 
He was so humble in completing his mission. Mark does not want us to miss Jesus' deliberateness. My friends, it is clear that Mark wants us to view Jesus as a king. He helps us to reimagine the very concept of king in accordance with Jesus' mission. As we meditate on Jesus' journey, and all its challenges, we must also think about our journey and our challenges. Although different, yet we are full of challenges on our journey. My friends, we continue to pray with faith in the one who rejoices and as we find refuge in God, let us continue to pray for one another. Let us continue to forgive one another. I pray to you and I ask their Lord that as we celebrate this day, that we do so with you at the helm. I speak to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, <laughs> 
Continue to pray for Ismail Rakenya, Norma Gentle, Brenda Gabriel, 
Anna Mae Ferguson, Beth Sanchez, Father Constancio Perez, Reverend Mario Moreira, Lena Williams, Maud Williams, Elsie Evans, Cordelia Gardner, Leolyn Clare, Jean Longsworth, Dorothy Boudreau, Lena Simmons, Hilda Mencius, Lincoln Bailey, Beryl Fairweather, Gwyneth Gillett, Betty Fairweather, Aaron Harms, Ambrose Peters, Margaret Mackenzie, Lincoln Gillett, Anne Gillett, Louisa Gill, Joyce Wade, Alma Wade, Father Eric and Verilyn Richards, George Bahadur, Pearl Stewart, Lady Norma Young, Dr. Kenrick and Marlene Leslie, Catherine Flowers, Julie Ann Williams, Beverly Ferguson, Karen Middleton, Dominique Rodriguez, Russell Kemp, Marley Castillo, Gilbert Domingo, Presiding Bishop Michael Curry, Gary Tullock, Bishop Leopold Friday, Dotsy Arno, Sister Ferida Harms, and all those for whom we offer our prayers. May God's healing grace and mercy be with all our sisters and brothers. We also pray for those who have died, especially Wayne Carrington, and all those we love and will miss. May they rest in peace. We ask for the consolation and strength of God's Holy Spirit to be with their families at this time. We continue to pray for peace and goodwill to prevail in this world. Whatever may be your need, know that God's loving presence and grace are sufficient to see you through. God be the glory, great things he has done. Amen. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people in the multitude of your mercies. Look with compassion on us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O Lord of love, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. If we say we have no sins, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus. Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your way and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon me, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God. In one body, by the cross, we meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Christ's peace. Let us 
As we prepare to receive the offering today, we take this opportunity to give thanks to you for your ongoing support of the Anglican Diocese of Belize with your prayers and contributions. Thanks to your support, we are able to continue with this good work that God has called us to do in this part of His vineyard. You can make your contributions to any of our accounts. Firstly, for the Belize Bank, our account numbers are 129-806-010-120-001 or 2363-7601-0120-025. Or you can pay using your eCash digital wallet via phone or tablet by scanning the QR code on your screen or clicking the link provided. You can also use our accounts at Atlantic Bank, account number 21064371. Or all at the M and T Bank, number one Fountain Plaza, Buffalo, New York, account number one five six nine eight zero zero four. Once again, thank you very much for your support, and may God continue to bless you and your family. Yeah. 
On the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it for the remembrance of me. Christ is the Lord. He has set us free from the law of sin and death. In his name alone is our salvation. Father, calling to mind the death of your Son and your for salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension is continued in discussion for us in heaven. And looking for his coming again in glory, we offer you in thanksgiving his holy and life-giving sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offerings and grant that we who eat and drink of these holy gifts may be filled with your Holy Spirit and become one body in Christ and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. May he make us a perpetual offering to you and enable us in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary and in all company of heaven to share in the inheritance of your saints. With him, and in him, and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. And now as the Father has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. loving God, in union with Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries, 
gathered to make Eucharist, hearing your holy word and receiving the precious body and blood of your dear son, I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I am currently not partaking of the bread of heaven and drinking the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptized and with your Son who gave his life for us. Come, Lord Jesus, dwell in me and send your Holy Spirit, that I may be filled with your presence. Amen.
for the young blood. Together we pray. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for giving us to the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord, to give to you and to the Holy Spirit the honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves and take your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Birthday greetings this week go to Sharon Harper, Marie Manus, Raphael Gardner, Pastor Elias Cardenas, Martin Aguilar, Roland Flowers, Anna Lizama, Bishop Juan Simpson, Kenya Booker, Judy Maxween, Lennox Wilshire, Alfredo Walker, Nicholas Jackman, Myrna Paul, Linton Snow, Antoinette Paul, James Ely, Lois Lewis, Mary Roach, Fencia Figaro, Arlene Leslie. May God continue to richly bless and keep each and every one of you. We join with those celebrating anniversaries at this time, anniversaries of marriage, ordination, or even the passing of a loved one, or any other memorable occasion. May God's loving presence be the difference in your lives. Amen. We thank our extraordinary God during this beginning of Holy Week, this Passion Sunday, and all seasons for the continued joy and peace he brings to our lives. We thank all those who read lessons and participated in this morning's service, for leading the readings this morning, for leading the prayers of the people, Miss Yvonne Sweet, Sweet Coral, the Diocesan Online Music Team for their music, Dr. Christopher DeShield, and Miss Miriam Law for their music, and the members of the CSUN online ministry team. Thanks to Love FM for carrying the service for us. Do get in touch with us if you're interested in participating in our service. Contact our CSUN head office at 227-3029 or 227-8055 or WhatsApp at 626-1821. You can also email us at bzedioceste at btl.net. Once again, a most blessed Sunday to one and all. Do have a wonderful and productive week. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.
should make reply. O glory, Lord and honor, to divinity were paid. To whom the lips of children, its equals and a spring. The people of the Hebrews with pomps before thee went. And praise and anthems before thee we present. All glory, Lord, and honor to the Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children in sweet Hosanna swing.